is actually a topic I find very interesting, and I finally feel ready to watch this video. I've been hesitant to involve things that are not fish on the channel, and this is still about fish. It's about mussels that catch fish. Uh, but when I took a trip to Tennessee, if you haven't seen that video, you should watch that video. When I took a trip to Tennessee, I learned a lot about mussels and all of the cool species of freshwater mussel there. And my friend Jared, who really likes the mussels, told me about how mussels reproduce. And he was like halfway through explaining to me how they reproduce. And he was like, you know what? You should just watch the Z Frank video. So I wrote it down. And here we are. We're going to watch the Z Frank video about how mussels reproduce by catching fish. Here, a darter fish looks for a morsel of oh <laughs> Oh my god, wait, what darter? I'm sorry, my immediate temptation. Is this a golden darter? Uh, it kind of looks... No, it would be more colorful, I think, and I think it's a bit too big. I don't know what darter it is. Sorry, I wanted to contribute. I don't know what darter it is, though. For a morsel of oh now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, I didn't know clams ate fish. Well, first off, that right there is a that's muscle. So cool. And calling it a clam is offensive. And second of all, that's a lady muscle. And what she's doing is Not squirting baby murder. juice all over that fish's face parts. And by baby juice, I mean juice that's made out of real babies. It's embarrassing is what it is. And now that Ethel saw it, it'll be the talk of fish town. <laughs> Old Look at his face. Dale got He's like, oh, shit. A face full of baby juice. <laughs> so when it comes to making babies, they have to get creative. Now the male muscle's job is straightforward. Literally. <laughs> he simply releases his sperm into the water. And there they are. That's some muscle sperm right there. The one in the top right looks like fun. <laughs> now some they look like Tic Tacs. <laughs> Tic Tacs with tails. The females, which can look quite female, receive the sperm. I'm not sure how. I guess maybe there's a lot of it. And then they use it to fertilize their eggs. There are quite a few eggs, but until they are appropriately shelled, she raises them all in her cozy one-bedroom apartment. The little babies are quite muscleish. They have their mother's looks. However, they have a little bit of a toothy grin. And when you open them up, you can see there's I never more... realized they have, like, the little lip things on these little muscles. Don't type, I should call her. God damn it. I never realized I had the little lip thing, so I think when I've, whenever I've looked at like a freshwater mussel and picked it out of the water and looked at it, I've never noticed any part of the shell to look any different than any other part. Now our friend Dale happened to run into a mussel in the genus Epioblasma. The Is this the duck darter snapper? Whatever it's called? I think actually the duck river darter snapper? If that's the specific species that I was talking about, that I, I, I found one of those. It has like a little extra lip that helps with catching the darters. I don't know if they all catch darters or if it's specific to the Duck River darter snapper. But if that is what it is, then I've seen one of these in real life. I found one in the wild. Fish like Dale often forage Log for perch. food by turning over little stones and pebbles and maybe occasionally a mussel or two. After getting rolled around like that, you can imagine they might want some payback. So Epioblasma evolved the ability to snapshot and hold on to the face of these fishes. <laughs> <laughs> Look at his face. He's Log like, what is like fuck. <laughs> and it's a tight squeeze too. Some species use little teeth to hold on. And look, some evolved what look like little tasty fish eggs to draw the fish closer. Now this isn't just some sort of fish face fetish. If you look closely, you can see the mummy muscle sort of pulsing. What she's doing is making herself into a sort of bellows, forcing water oh, through nose. the fish's mouth and out of its gills. And along with that water comes the babies. The chompy little babies of freshwater mussels are designed for this moment. As they pass through the fish's gills, they grab on. And not just a few of them, a whole bunch. The gill tissue responds by wrapping itself around the larva. Bro, they just... A bunch of tiny muscles grab your gills. That's crazy that they have footage of that. This is such good footage. Look at him, he just went dump. That's so cool. That's so impressive that they got this footage. Um, eventually, the Jesus. mummy muscle lets go. And for some reason, <laughs> Dale decides to come back. <laughs> Probably trying to drop off the hitchhikers right back where they came from. But they're not going anywhere. The tissue of the fish will now provide them with the safety and nourishment they need as they develop. This now, not crazy. every muscle wants to... Where... This is... I... I just, like, I learned slightly about this two weeks ago, and that's why I feel like I'm slightly knowledgeable about it, but... My God, even still knowing a little bit about it, this is just a ridiculous. Yeah, as Patriot Dream said in chat, there has to be easier ways to do this. Surrogate fish. <laughs>
Some muscles in the genus Lampsilis have evolved a modification Lampsilis. to their lips. I mean, technically they're mantle, Loaders? but I'm sticking with lips. This sh right here makes those fake fish eggs look like a kindergarten arts and crafts project. It looks project. like a tiny Look fish. at that, they got the whole package, the looks, the movement. I bet it confuses the hell out of the fish they're trying to mimic. You think you found a good listener for your problems, tail? turns out to be a f***ing muscle. Oh, red but line when the right fish approaches for a nibble, Small mouth. surprise, <laughs> baby confetti. If you slow it down, you can see the babies being forced through the gills of the fish. A oh my god, a it's a baby bomb. <laughs> it's a literal baby bomb, bro. It just fucking spams sperm onto his face. And see a strategy, but the same end result. And it's not just fishes either. Muscles have changed their lips to look like all sorts of rounded face and it's just crap. on the top lip wait i think that was a bridal shiner wait that video might have been taken in new jersey that looked like a bridal shiner if you want something fancy look at this one right here wait for it <laughs> there it goes it's a little crayfish <laughs> then you get to the end you gotta reset it Zip, ding. and look at this they come in evening wear too medianitis chondraticus on the other hand went for subtlety i'm not totally sure what it's supposed to be but i get it I mean, I want to touch it. You got Legumia recta, which looks a bit like a pair of dentures that got lost in a shag carpet. This is it's horrifying. I, 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 <laughs> I did not realize that they look like this. I've only ever either found them dead or find them like completely closed. And then it's just the shell. And I'm okay with the shell. I do not. <laughs> Maybe I don't like mussels as much as I thought I liked mussels. Great, isn't it? Dude, I love ocean invertebrates so much. This is, this is fresh water. These are all freshwater mussels, Zebtech. This is all, these are all freshwater fish and freshwater mussels. This is a family of mussels that lives completely in freshwater. These are all in rivers and lakes and streams and such. Some mussels package up their babies into little bundles called conglutinates. These little bundles are designed to look like things that fish might eat, and they're released directly into the water. There they go, and the fish ride after them. And look at this, the fish come right back. It's like a vending machine that you pay for with kisses. <laughs> <laughs> a couple more, come on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yay! <laughs> Some of these conglutinates are fairly straightforward, like these little ribbons released by Theloderma cylindrica. Up close, you can see that they're made of strands of unfertilized eggs with chompy larvae mixed in. Strophytus undulatus embeds its larvae into little worms of mucus. In some species, pigments it, are added in. Am I crazy for thinking that mussel larvae wouldn't look like mussels? I feel like a lot of invertebrate larva tends to look like it has like a free swimming form or like a different looking form afterwards. But I feel like all of these baby mussels just look like very, very tiny mussels. Just the tiniest itty bitty microscopic mussels, which is really cute, by the way. But I kind of was not, not expecting it. Why hasn't an analog horror been created already? Oh, I'm pretty sure it has. This is like the what they talk about, like the parasite in your body, like a wasp lays eggs in your body and then they grow and eat their way out or something. I feel like I've read a horror story or two about this type of thing. They literally make packs of fertilized eggs that look like tiny insects, but instead of getting digested, they attach themselves to the gills when they get eaten. Oh, the level of detail can be quite incredible. Certainly enough to fool a fish. Bro, what? It literally looks like a tiny... That's crazy. Rainbow darter. That's crazy. Rainbow darter knew no better. Now they don't have to taste good to work. <laughs> you can see the fish is getting a little burpy. <laughs> and there you go. You can see it leaking out the gills. Some species have a full-on fishing setup. Here, look. What? There's a mussel right there in the middle of the screen. And then that thing there? That's a lure attached to a mucus tether that the mussel sort of reels out. Bro. And come on, it totally looks like it's swimming, doesn't it? Here's a better look at it. That's Wins. fucking crazy. <laughs> I did not... I knew that there were some things about this, and I knew it was a little bit weird, and I understood that they sort of trapped fish, but that is awesome. There's just so many clips of shooting fish baby juice. Listen. Sometimes you gotta shoot a little baby juice into a fish's gills, alright? And if that's a crime, then I don't want to not commit crimes. Um, <laughs> okay, chat, don't clip it. Whoa.